Hey, what's going on guys? ATH Sports here coming... It's not exactly who I am, but the link to that channel actually is down in the description. If you guys like rebuilds, say you're not getting enough of mine. Down in the description, I got Andy's channel, ATH Sports, link below. He's got a couple of rebuilds on his channel so far. He's done uh, rebuilding the Patriots without Tom Brady. He's done rebuilding the 0-16 Browns. Purely, that's all that channel is for, is rebuilds and franchise. If you guys are interested in that, definitely watch down below link is going to be the top line of the description if we can get that channel to a thousand subscribers i will post a rebuild tomorrow as well uh that's a big ask for you guys but then again i do have fifty-seven thousand followers now or subscribers if you will and this is going to get i would say probably close to twenty thousand views in the first two days so if we can get andy's channel to just one thousand subscribers link down below I think that's really not that much to ask if you guys want to see another rebuild tomorrow. If not, it'll be a little bit further down the road. But today, I have the fantasy-style rebuild of the Tennessee Titans. It has certainly been a while. If you see uh, their top group of players right here, we've got Delaney Walker, Jarrell Casey, Kevin Byard. If you guys are unfamiliar with the fantasy style of rebuilding, I have already done the Titans in a realistic manner. This is pretty much anything goes. Getting rid of older players clearing that out, trading them for whatever we can. The trade meter is finally back. You guys have stopped telling me. I know. I re if you guys don't follow my Twitter, linked also down below, twitter.com slash Designs. I retweeted um, as soon as the patch went live and as soon as they knew an exact date for when the trade meter was getting fixed. So that's a good spot to follow as well. If you don't have a Twitter, might as well create one. I'm on there all the time. Favorite app by far on my phone. But let's go ahead and uh, rebuild this Tennessee Titans team. Hopefully I'm not too rusty. So this is the roster that we're working with. It's actually really not that bad. They are a playoff team. They made the playoffs last year. Um, they just, they, I don't know how they beat the Chiefs, honestly. The Chiefs melt, just, they're not good. They had a meltdown. Uh, and then, of course, Titans would lose later. But if we go down the roster, have a very solid offensive line. The only one I'd really look to move is either Quentin Spain or Josh Klein. Quentin Spain's 25, just his run block is real low. Uh, and then Josh Klein is a little bit older at 27. Again, same deal. Run block's very low. Ben Jones, I'm kind of fine with for right now. But this is fantasy style, so we are looking to upgrade. we got to make this just an overpowered team. And Delaney Walker, as much as I think he's very good, he's 33 years old. He's going to go uh, downhill very, very quickly as players start to regress at 28 in Madden. So at 33, it's going to be very, very bad if he doesn't retire after the first season. Eric Decker's got to go. I got to remember, like, that I can be absolutely ridiculous and just do anything I want here. Um, I'm fine with Tywan Taylor. Tasha Sharp can stay. Corey Davis can stay. Going to trade DeMarco Murray. I might end up moving on from Marcus Mariota. He's only an 82 overall. He doesn't develop the way his development says. He's not developing quickly, unfortunately, in the game. I want him to be the quarterback. Not sure if that's going to end up working out. Defensively, Kevin Byard is awesome. Got to get rid of John Cyprian. Uh, I hook him horns. Love Brian Arakpo. Got to trade him. Avery Williamson, we're going to look to retain for sure. Wesley Woodyard's got to get traded. He's 30 or 31 in this roster. 31. Derek Morgan's got to go. Kevin Dodd will probably start this year on the defensive line. Uh, I like Detone Jones. Jarrell Casey's obviously a beast. Still Williams. We'll hold on to him for now, maybe, and then I'll probably look to trade Logan Ryan, and then maybe LaShawn Sims will start. that would be super fun. First trade we're sending through is Wesley Woodyard and Brian Arakpo, as well as a third-round pick for Casey Hayward of the Chargers. He's 27 years old to match his jersey number. going to fit in very, very well with our group of cornerbacks. Just Wesley Woodyard and Brian Arakpo were two older linebackers that I really didn't have a vested interest in. Um, I, I do love Brian Arakpo. He's one of my favorite players, fun fact. Probably... Probably top 10 favorite player of all time for me, um, but I can't I can't deal with you know him being old in in this because people get mad at me if I don't trade him, so I, I have to. Didn't expect that to go through. That actually went through very easily. Could be because Demarcus Lawrence is an impending free agent, but Logan Ryan, Derek Morgan, and Sylvester Williams gets me Demarcus Lawrence from the Cowboys should fit in pretty well. I think the Titans are going to make a push for DeMarcus Lawrence in free agency anyway. If I can play him at outside linebacker, that'd be very, very good. Certainly an upgrade over Kevin Dodd. Or maybe he replaces Brian Arakpo at right outside linebacker. We play Kevin Dodd anyway. Get rid of 32-year-old Eric Walden. That could be kind of cool. 
This trade is going to be Jonathan Cyprian, Eric Decker, and a future third. For Andrew Norwell, another free agent. Going to be very, very good. Great addition to our team. He'll play left guard, which means I now have the availability to either trade Quentin Spain or Josh Klein if I'd like to do that. Also, if you trade my centers, Brian Schwenke, Ben Jones, probably will look to do that. Um, probably trade Ben Jones right now if I can find a good trade partner. This trade is going to be Ben Jones and Delaney Walker as well as a second round pick this year for Michael Thomas, one of those underrated receivers in the NFL. I think he's starting to get that recognition and if everyone calls him underrated, he's maybe not underrated anymore. I think that's how that goes. Uh, but we've actually made some pretty good additions to this team thus far. I think improving at the necessary positions, uh, tight end obviously a hole, but it was going to be anyway because Delaney Walker wouldn't be around forever. Got a trade. Uh, I don't know. I feel like I'd rather have Tajay Sharp and Taiwan Taylor than Richard Matthews and Corey Davis. We're going to keep Corey Davis. I'd probably like to trade Richard Matthews. Johnny Smith is here, and that's kind of all I can say about him. He's just, he came. That's great. Um, we'd rather have someone else, but you're here. Maybe he's our starting tight end this year. I'd rather not, if I'm being honest. Oh, Demarcus Lawrence. Forgot that happened. Man, this has been, it's been uh, pretty good so far. With this trade, Quentin Spain, Brian Schwenke, and a future two for DeForest Buckner, getting better across the defensive line. Um, and I'm really running out of picks, so I don't really want to do much more trading. We've improved at the necessary areas. I really don't want Josh Klein. I'd rather trade him and get a pick and then draft a lineman. I don't want him anymore. Defensively, maybe I'll... What, what am I even doing? Um... Man, that was a pretty good trade for DeForest Buckner. I'm, I'm pretty good. Wow. Uh, yeah, we're going to make him a right outside linebacker. His overall is going to go down? Probably. Almost certainly, I'd say. Yeah, it's a 92 now. It, I don't care. Still same player. Serving a different purpose, but pretty much the same. Um, what do I want to do here? Cornerbacks, I think, are fine for right now. Defensive line, more than fine. Linebacking core... That's where we have a bit of an issue. Could use a middle linebacker. Could use another edge presence. Could probably draft both of those. We could trade for a strong safety. Yeah, let's trade for a strong safety. This trade is actually a pretty big one. Richard Matthews, Josh Klein, and a fourth for Adrian Amos of the Chicago Bears. Had a really, really good season for them. Uh, I feel like he's more of a free safety than a strong safety overall. But that's where he played, and he was damn good at it. Hit power looks pretty good. Zone coverage is almost to where we want it to be. Tackle's fine. He's not a bad player by any means. Very, very good. Um, block shedding could be improved, but we're going to get to that, I'm sure. This is a solid squad. I almost traded for uh, Carl Joseph, but I'm like, yeah, we can probably get better. And we did. Adrian Amos is exactly that. Taiwan Taylor is going to be an awesome option for us. I, I, did I say that wrong? I don't know. Um, but yeah, I think this is going to be the team. Oh, DeMarco Murray. That's right. Who else can I trade with him? Who can I package him in with? What do I even want? I want picks, probably. Let me get a two and a three for DeMarco Murray and Austin Johnson, maybe. Austin Johnson and DeMarco Murray is going to give me a second round pick from the Raiders. I think that's pretty much going to be the bulk of my trading, probably for the video, but also the first season. We have a really good base. Now it's about turning uh, our few draft picks into very good players. We're looking at outside linebacker. We're looking at middle linebacker. And uh, maybe eventually down the road, cornerback. And, of course, offensive line. Free agency could help out with that. Tight end, receiver, maybe eventually quarterback. If one's good enough, uh, no opposition to that. But uh, first, I'm going to go get some water because I'm thirsty. You guys didn't need to know that. Uh, but I am. So I'm uh, going to do that, and I will be back. But you'll see me for the midseason mark. There's absolutely no point for me to tell you any of this uh maybe i'm gonna take a shit who knows it could be an eventful trip I, upstairs could hold many different outcomes uh, i'm gonna go actually is what's gonna happen so three three and one at the midseason mark i'm back by the way in case you couldn't tell to marcus lawrence is a top free i don't know why i make my voice like that sometimes avery williamson we knew that would happen to Quan jones as well we knew about all these guys ryan suck got paid in real life good for him honestly um I want to bring back everyone except for Eric Walden and uh, Ryan Suckup and everyone else. <laughs> so, okay, that was n very that was not very well uh, said by me. Top three guys, and that's it. Demarcus Lawrence is back. I don't know why I, I used to do it like like this, but there's no point because uh, let's get him to at least 31. 
um, because it just takes up more time. I could just say, hey, I re-signed everybody, or Daquan Jones said, nah, which I'll sign up to a four-year deal worth just under three. And he is back. We'll see if we can develop him a lot. Probably not. But I'll see you guys for the playoffs. Don't think we're going to make it there. Not sure, though. So we didn't make the playoffs. Not very cool. 7, 8, and 1. Very average season. Very average. Marcus Mariota. Can you be our starting quarterback? That's an interception or more per game. Not great there. About 4,000 yards passing, 30 touchdowns, rushing. Derrick Henry wasn't even good. 1,000 yards, 7 touchdowns, 3.6 per carry. Fumbled the ball four times, only broke 11 tackles. Michael Thomas had a great season. Hey, even Taiwan Taylor in the slot almost had 1,000 yards, and he had 11 touchdowns as well. Sacks allowed, pretty good from the O-line altogether. Avery Williamson had a very good season as well. Led her team in tackles with 158. Tackles for loss, 12 from Jarrell Casey. Sacks, 12 from Jarrell Casey. 10.5 from Eric Walden, 9.5 for Demarcus Lawrence. He had 84 tackles. I need just to be in a more pure pass rushing situation because he doesn't have any zone coverage. 63, it's just not going to work. Uh, how did interceptions go? Four from Avery Williamson, four for Casey Hayward. Uh, not too bad, I guess. Being paid to say that is awful. A couple of forced fumbles for Casey Hayward, a couple of recoveries, and then Adrian Amos had two touchdowns. Casey Hayward with one. How does that happen? All right, offense was 22nd. I can turn on spread and make it like top three. Defense was middle of the pack, so we do have to improve in that department. As Alex Smith wins MVP of the 10 and 6 Kansas City Chiefs, the records are odd. 8 6 and 2 is one of the more odd ones that I've seen. Uh, Eagles went 16 and 0. That's interesting. Uh, I won't comment on it much further than that. <laughs> Offensive Player of the Year goes to Alex Smith, who went again 10 and 6. No Titans in here. Defensive Player of the Year Melvin Ingram, Avery Williamson at number four. No other Titans. Offensive Rookie of the Year, Leonard Fournette. Pretty much per usual. Tomlin Taylor in there at number 6. And then Defense Rookie of the Year, Miles Garrett. The Dolphins went 4-10-2. That's another out. What is up with all these ties? Jets 3-11-2. What is going on? Dory Jackson at number 7. Odd season. Andrew Norwell, still a free agent. We're going to franchise tag him if we can't re-sign. But it wasn't an option earlier. 26 years old. I'd be comfortable offering him... Uh, Six-year deal till he's 32, worth just over six and a half. I think that's more than fair um, for us, at least. It's not a great deal for Andrew Norwell, but he accepted it, so that's his fucking demise. But time for free agency. No one is good, or no one that is good is going to be here. It's just the way it goes. We have a ton of cap room, and we won't be able to sign anyone because there's no reason. Why do we go after 31-year-old Garrett Blunt? Drew Brees, I have no interest in. No one that is good is here. It's just always the way that it works in the first season. Just no one ever is good. Which, that's fine. It's going to be the same next year. I'm going to go ahead and see you guys for the draft after I finish my scouting. Michael Ditka. Is Mike Ditka's grandson or something? And he plays kicker. I bet you got a proud grandpa. Here we are in the draft. Didn't really trade for any first rounders, I don't think. So... We only have the one here at number 13. It's been a while. Maybe I'm just a bit rusty. But uh, I don't know who I want. I think I'm going to go receiver here. Anthony Randall out of Notre Dame. Six foot four. Great top three skills. Great vertical. Strong. Agile enough. And his 40 yard dash was excellent for someone that's four. Actually, for someone that's six four. Four five flat. We're going to go ahead and take him. He's a 79 overall. Ranked at number 13 in the class. We took him, of course, at 13. Uh, he's very well rounded. Wish his speed hit 90, so that could never go below 90, but it's at 89. A little bit frustrating there. Very good player overall. Um, very, very good. Good traits as well. I don't even know if that matters in simulation. But a solid, solid player. Should come in and help out the receiving core pretty well. And I don't think we pick again until uh, right now, actually. I'm going to go with an offensive lineman. Dontarius Brandon out of the. Ohio State University, tremendous combine, top three skills are good enough, I think they're very good actually, he's a 78 overall quick development, ranked at number 20 in the class, we take him at 40, 88 strength, 84 run block, 79 pass block, 91 impact blocking is all, I would say super solid, awareness is low, that's going to get boosted up heavily, and then speed is fantastic at a 73, very very good player, significant upgrade either 
uh, over either Josh Klein or Quentin Spain, who are both no longer on the team. So I'm very happy to pick him, and we'll pick again in the fifth. I don't really have any players. I don't even have anybody watched. And out of the players that I have scouted, like none of them are really all that good. So what I think I'm going to do is just purely, actually, you know, Noah Paxton's not bad. Uh, he's just, like, not strong enough, I'd say, which I think is a pretty big concern. So I don't really want to take him. I don't really want to take any of these guys. I'm just going to trade these down, as I usually like to do. I'll take a, I'll take a third rounder. I'll, I'll, gladly, I'll gladly take a third rounder. Are you kidding me? All day. I'm just going to keep trading down. I'll see you guys for the start of season number two. Draft went pretty well. Drafted two players. They were both inside the top 20 not much more you can ask for in terms of uh you know working out with two second round picks we have a decent amount of xp i think we're gonna keep everyone where they are i definitely want to start randall i wish we had a little bit more xp for a lot of these players but you know we got to work with what we got this is the new look team for season uh number two is where we are I'm worried about Taiwan Taylor. I don't really know what to do with him because he looks pretty good. Getting upgraded pretty nicely. I don't I don't have a spot for him really. Anthony Randall, on the other hand, I have plans for. What is your run block? 59? That's better than Evan Ingram. You're playing tight end. That's what you do now. You're a tight end. He is an 86 overall tight end. Not too bad. So I really want to switch to a 4-3. We don't really have the personnel. I don't really love the way 3-4s play in simulation a lot, I figured out. Jarrell Casey, clearly not a 4-3 defensive end. I feel like I could play him there, though, in sim. It wouldn't matter. Demarcus Lawrence would also play defensive end. And then I'd move in Daquan Jones to play defensive tackle. Here lies the issue. I don't have any linebackers. And that's a problem. But we're not really playing good defense in, a, in the current playbook, so I don't even know. Just changing the playbook to straight up 3-4, and that'll play terribly. Uh, but the good news about that is we're only here for another uh, couple hours doing this, so can't wait. See you guys in the season, Mark. So we are 1-6. Clearly the change uh, has impacted us for the positive. I like losing a lot. Offensively, oh, that didn't. that's not good. That's 28th. That's not near the top. The O defense is 30th. Sweet. Uh, we're going to change from this play. Look, not a huge fan of the way it's playing, I got to say. I don't know how a defense can get better, but get worse. Um, Who's a good 3-4? Denver, maybe? Fucking, I don't know. We'll try it. And you know what? We're going to go spread. Just, you know, I don't even want to hear it. It's just, it's too easy, and I'm going to do it. So, suck it. I don't care. Casey Hayward's a free agent. Who else is here? Adrian Amos, Taylor Lewan, Ooh, Mariota. That's an interesting one. We're going to deal with that at the end of the season. So Taylor Lewan declined. I didn't realize his run block is really, really bad, but it is. I'll have to upgrade that. That's not what I want. Um, Casey Hayward and Adrian Amos are both back, solidifying our secondary, which doesn't make plays anyway, because why would they bother? That's what it comes down to. I'm going to go ahead and simulate to the playoffs. I'm going to go out on a limb and say a 1-6 start probably doesn't solidify a playoff berth for us in Season 2. Not ideal. We did not make the playoffs. 6-10. and 10. We were way better the second half. Like, that matters. Mariota. 25 touchdowns, 12 interceptions. We did change the spread. That's how he has more yardage. Not a lot of touchdowns, though. Derrick Henry was not good. Receiving. Taiwan Taylor was great. Michael Thomas was great. Anthony Randall as a tight end was pretty good. Blocking, how'd we do? Not a whole ton of sacks let up. Defensively, Avery Williamson led our team in tackles with 144. Tackles for loss, 17 from Jarrell Casey. He also had 18 sacks, which led the team. We're just getting, like, Demarcus Lawrence shouldn't have 105 tackles as an edge rusher. That's really not what he's playing somehow, which I don't understand at all. They need to fix playbooks for next year um, and sim stats because they're always terrible. I feel like I've said that a few times. Uh, pretty much no interceptions because we suck. I think that's what it comes down to. Not a whole ton of forced fumbles for any one player. And then I see at least one defensive touchdown. It's Adrian Amos who has three in two years. 
Tom Brady wins MVP. Aaron Rodgers is number two. Any Titans in here? I supremely doubt it. Offensive player of the year. Ooh, Mariota at number six. Thank you, spread. Defensive player of the year is Navarro Bowman. No other Titans. Actually, I saw Jarrell Casey. There he is. Offensive rookie of the year, Douglas Means of the Raiders. Anthony Randall at number three. Defensive rookie of the year, Maxi Patton. He's a 95 overall. He's all right, I guess. Oh, yeah. Taylor Lewan's here. Forgot about that. Marcus Mariota. I still don't... We have Josh Lambeau. I'm actually going to re-sign him. He looks really good. So just accept that deal, please. He's back. All right. Mariota's a different story. What is he asking for? Under 10 a year. That's great. Here's the problem. Is he the future? I don't know. Taylor Lewan definitely needs to return. He's 74 run block. Oh. Taylor Lewan comes back. I don't want Mariota. I'm going to offer him a deal, though. Four years. It's, he doesn't want it. Franchise tag is 20.8. I'm going to do it. That seems ridiculous. But I want one more year to decide what I want to do with him. So that's a perfect contract to give him. I'm not going to sign Zenora Cersei. I saw him at the end there. Um, and then we still have some money in free agency. 50 mil. Who's here? Mark Ingram. Uh, I don't think I've ever signed Mark Ingram. I don't want him. He doesn't really look all that good. He looks okay. He looks well-rounded. Delaney Walker's here. He's down to a 92. We could bring him back, I guess. <laughs> bring him back to trade him again? Fuck it. I'm in. I'm in. Uh, he's not asking for that much. Let's make sure... Uh, well, I mean, he like, kind of is, but with the bonus and everything, we should be fine. Jason Verrett is here. That would be a very good cornerback to add. 28, but Mike Hilton might be better. Still no picture for him. He's more of an in-the-box guy. Nickel corner. Brian Arakbo's here. I'm actually not going to re-sign or go after anybody. I'm not going to sign anybody. I don't really like the options. So I'm going to simulate. See if we got our guy here, Delaney Walker, coming back to Tennessee. And he's not going to start. I'm going to trade him. <laughs> I'm a dick. Man, look at this team. They're playing with such great chemistry. This is the upgraded team. Uh, I will be trading Delaney Walker. He doesn't have a choice. But uh, that's for after the draft. Gonna scout and see you there. This is not product placement. Get this fucking guy off the screen. It's brand sandwiches, all right? I don't know. This draft class is okay. We'll see you for the draft. I don't even use the other 78 points. All right, we picked 10th. You know, obviously improving if we're going up in the draft order, right? That means we're having better seasons. My top guy's off the board because that's how it works. How, when did he go? He went at number eight. Not not ideal. Now I'm going to take a center in the first round. Maybe this has never happened before, but I'm doing it. Ranked at number 25 in the class. Number 10. Quick development. 87 strength. 81 run block. 84 pass block. 86 impact blocking. Immediate starting center. Very good player. Awareness is down, which means he's a lower overall. I'm very fine with it. I really only have offensive linemen scouted. So I'm just going to trade down. That's all there is to it. It's like a 2020 second rounder. I don't really want I don't want picks this year. I Sorry, I just don't want them. <laughs> I just don't. Uh, and I'm, I'm going to reach with my next pick because I don't feel like waiting around. It's what it, I have three picks in a row. I'm going to trade down the rest. And I'm going to take the player. It's a reach. It's Marcus Harvin. Is it? No. Was it? He didn't look that good. I got a feeling about him. We're just going to go with it. Rank number 32 in the class. Pass blocks low. He's okay. Maybe I'll take these guys in a row. What? Might as well. Maybe one of them's sick. Not like I'm going to really need those picks next year anyway. Zachary Hundley, 79 quick. Rank number 19. Run block is low. I prefer... Probably the first guy that I drafted at center over all these guys. Unless we could play one at guard, maybe. And then our last pick. I think it's our last pick overall. Just don't really want anyone. Oh, there's a tackle down the board. He's okay. Can't pass block for anything. And uh, he is all right. Pass block, if that was in the 80s, he'd be insane. But his development isn't good. I'm just going to simulate to the end of the draft. Hopefully we win some games this year. That'd be that'd be pretty cool. Season three, I'd like to make the playoffs already. 
With this trade, trading Delaney Walker, it's a cheese move, whatever. He's, he's, you know, I signed him to trade him. It was a nice sign and trade. Classic. Happens in the NBA all the time. Kevin Dodd, also involved in the trade, and a third round pick for Ruben Foster. So, we just got a very decent middle linebacker, I could say. Now, does he beat women? Allegedly. He's just going to have to pretend that women are on the other team, and maybe our defense will actually fucking play good for once. Play well, I should say. Oopsie. All right, maybe the defense will play well. I still need a left outside linebacker. I can't really trade for one. Can't do it. Offensively, this is Mariota's last chance. If we don't go to the playoffs, I'm going to probably trade for a quarterback. And honestly, I probably should trade Mariota. That is probably what should happen. It's not going to. I'm going to use Coach XPCU near the midseason mark. I might cut it a little bit short if I want to trade him. We are 3-1-1. One, and one. Beating the Browns 34 to 10. We're gonna simulate to the next week. If we go four one and one, that'd be a pretty good start. Oh, we had a bye week, I didn't even notice. I think the trade deadline is this next week. We should be able to trade still. We can. We are three two and one. How's Mariota playing? He's got 8k XP, he's still not very good. Still quick development. And he's in the spread. Eight interceptions through this many weeks. Ugh. Only 17 touchdowns comparatively based on how many times he's throwing the ball, which is a lot. Jeez, I don't I don't know. I don't I feel like the Marcus Mariota experiment is a failure. And that's what I can say. I feel like it is a failure. In terms of this franchise, I don't think he's working out. Just not good enough. Throw power is too low. Accuracy is not good enough. His packages are too expensive. Like, he, this is not a good player. He's an 87 overall. Ah, oh, but he's, he's so close. And he's not even old. He's 25. Ugh. It's not a realistic rebuild. I'm I'm in a tough spot there. Tafaris Buckner, Michael Thomas, Kevin Byer, Derrick Henry, Jack Conklin. Again, Marcus Mariota. All free agents. Would like to bring all of them back? Mariota? I don't know. We have made the playoffs going 10-5-1. Mar Mariota won MVP. I just saw that in the bottom left. It's because we're in the spread offense. Um, 5,000 yards, 46 touchdowns, 19 interceptions. It's great. Derrick Henry, still shitty. Didn't fumble, though, which is good. Taiwan Taylor had a very, very good season. Uh, we had a couple of guys who were close to double-digit touchdowns who just couldn't get there. Anthony Randall, Corey Davis, Michael Thomas. Same thing with 1,000 yards. Anthony Randall, insane season, though. Tight end, Michael Thomas, same deal. Tywan Taylor, 106 catches, nearly 1,400 yards, 13 touchdowns. Blocking, offensive line was good except for Taylor Lewan somehow. As Ruben Foster hopefully revitalized his defense, 134 tackles led our team. Tackles for loss was 20 from Jarrell Casey. Demarcus Lawrence finally had double-digit sacks with 12 and a half, but nobody else came really that close. Interceptions. Um, really not that many. I know it looks like there are with the top two having four. Uh, but like Avery Williamson, LaShawn Sims, Kevin Byard both had three, two, and two picks recept uh, respectively, and no one else had any on the entire team. Adoree Jackson starts at cornerback, didn't have one. That's slow development. Ruben Foster forced four fumbles. Also recovered two. Both led the team. And then defensive touchdowns. Nobody had any. What was our defense ranked? I want to see that. 12th. I guess that's better. I want to see awards as well. And uh, we're going to be stuck here forever. So I'm going to restart the game. As far as awards go, Mariota won MVP. Of course, 10-5-1 and one Titans. I got to keep him now, obviously. He also won AFC Offensive Player of the Year. Defense player of the year, Telvin Smith. Ruben Foster just missed out on it. Uh, and then offensive rookie of the year, Lance Ingram of the Ravens. No Titans. And then defensive rookie of the year, Christian uh, Lake Lackey. I don't really like that name very much. I'm not going to say Lachey because that's not what it is. It's maybe not Lachey. I doubt it. Uh, but regardless, Titans, 8-8. Eight eight, wild card playoff matchup. We got some XP to spend, so I'm going to do that. And then see you guys for that matchup. This is the upgraded team, looking very, very good, actually. Uh, we're in an awesome spot. Improving rapidly here in this in this uh, third season. We can improve 
at left end and left outside linebacker and even cornerback, we're going to be just dead set lock for uh, getting first round e in the playoffs in season four. But let's go ahead and advance to the divisional as the Steelers beat us in the wild card. Of course they do. That's what happens to me. Oh, always. All right, so Mariota, clearly free agent. Got to resign him. It's going to be for a lot more money now. Oh, it's a double. I, I have to. I don't, I don't have a choice. He is back. And do I really want Tajay Sharp? Uh, probably not at this juncture. Brett Kern, don't care. Hopefully, that, now you guys hear my cat. She wanted to she, she sign Brett Kern. I'm like, fuck off. Um, hopefully, I can sign some quality free agents. Chris Jones would be perfect. This would be the perfect upgrade um, to Daquan Jones, so I definitely want this to happen. Simulating to the next week, we landed Chris Jones and Kendall Fuller, perfect nickel cornerback. Um, I guess it's Jory Jackson not playing up to an 87 anymore, so maybe he'll play on the outside. Maybe he'll be a boundary guy. But we got a really good group of guys now. Just need to improve at left outside linebacker. If we can draft a stud left outside linebacker, um, I'm so down for that. This is a solid team. So we picked 23rd, and I don't think my prospect's going to last that long. He should be available at 11, though, so I'm going to try and trade with the Cleveland Browns here. What do they need? Middle linebacker, right tackle, cornerback. How about I'll just give you a couple of picks? How about a 1, a 2, and a 4 for your 11? Perfect. Done. All right. Let's take our player. Hopefully he's sick. He looks pretty good. He doesn't look sick. He looks pretty good. Here he is. Deron Reinhardt out of Tennessee. So he had a sick comment. He ran a 4-4-8 at 240. Are you kidding me? At linebacker? That's ridiculous. Also, insane three cone. Good vert too. Good broad. Great bench press. Good top three skills. He is a 79 overall, but he has slow development despite having 88 speed, 85 finesse move, 90 hit power. I'm not mad about it. Uh, you hate to see slow development, but it's not like we're going to do this for another five seasons. This is a one-year deal. Um, as, you know, it is a fourth and final season. It's pretty much how we've been running the show. I don't really, I didn't look at anybody else. That was it. Um, CPUs is going to take shit, but that's what they do. So, uh, yeah, let's start the season of the last rebuild of the Titans. Can't wait to see how bad they drafted. Um, uh, very badly. All just horrifically badly. Not good. All right, season four, fourth and final season. I could use a fullback. I don't know who John o. Smith is still in the lineup. I also could use a uh, fourth receiver because that does come into play occasionally uh rest of the team looks more than okay but if daquan jones can land me i guess a fourth receiver that'd be fine rookie fullback would be great any in here no not anyone good which is all i care about i want a good fullback this trade, trading Daquan Jones, a 1-3 for Anthony Sherman and uh, Tyler Natil. I don't remember what his name is. He's going to be a fourth receiver. Doesn't really matter too much, but I do want to know his first name. It's Trevon. Looks pretty good. Trevon Natil. And Anthony Sherman's a decent fullback, I guess. But, uh, yeah, it's playoff. No, I'm actually going to go midseason in case it gets Coach XP. I can upgrade uh, whoever. I'm not sure. 6-1 and one at the midseason mark. Decent amount of Coach XP as well. Definitely spend that. However, what position do we spend it on? Uh, who sucks the most? Receivers are pretty good. Uh, I'm going to do receiver. Could do quarterback. I'm not going to. Time for the playoffs. We're 6-1. and one. We got to make it. And, you know, provided we don't have some gigantic meltdown, it's happening. So... See you guys at week 17, a.k.a. not week 17. Hopefully the divisional round of the playoffs and not the wild card. Excellent. 13-3 and three in season number four. Marcus Mariota, 5,531 yards, 58 touchdowns, 17 interceptions. Rushing Derrick Henry. I mean, less shitty, but yards per carry is still awful. 
15 touchdowns, 1,000 yards for him. I'll take it. Receiving uh, big yardage numbers for everyone. Taiwan Taylor, Michael Thomas, both over 1,250 yards. 1,000 for Anthony Rand, who also had 14 touchdowns. 11 for Michael Thomas, 13 for Taiwan Taylor. 7 for Corey Davis, even, who's kind of been eh, but I don't really care about him. Offensive line, not amazing as Ruben Foster leads her team in tackles with 164. Tackles for loss, 15 from Jarrell Casey. We do have two double-digit sack guys, Jarrell Casey with 13.5 and, and to Chris Jones with 10. Interception, 7 from Adoree Jackson. Where did that come from? Adrian Amos also had 6. Adoree Jackson goes from no interceptions last year just to 7. All right. I mean, I'm not complaining. Adrian Amos, 6. A couple other guys with 4. Casey Hayward with three. Rookie Deron Reinhardt with two. Wish he would have had more sacks, but I don't really know what he's doing. Uh, Forced fumbles, two for Jarrell Casey. And Javante Anthony led the team. Fumble recoveries, only three as a team. And then I see at least one defensive touchdown. That's all we get. It was Kendall Fuller. We had the number one offense, I, I would say pretty much obviously in the NFL. And then the 16th defense. So, uh Mariota wins MVP. Should be no surprise there. He also wins Offensive Player of the Year. Again, should be no surprise there. Derrick Henry at number seven. Defensive Player of the Year, Ruben Foster. Okay. Jarrell Casey at number nine. Offensive Rookie of the Year, Darren Snyder. Defensive Rookie of the Year, Marquis Spencer. Jerron Reinhardt at number two. That would have been goodbye slow development, as if that mattered at this point. A lot of XP for a lot of players. A lot of Pro Bowl players. This team is still going to be uh, good, but... I think we're going to be on the verge of sick in a minute once I upgrade. All right, interesting development, I have to say. Uh, on the offensive side of the ball, this Sharp character, Avery Sharp, where did you come from? Anyway, he's sick. I'll tell you where he came from as I upgrade the hell out of him. He made the Pro Bowl somehow as a backup. And um, Taylor Lewan sucks in the game. He let up like 20-some sacks. Avery Sharp... You're going in. It's your time to shine. You made the Pro Bowl as a backup. You must be pretty fucking good. He's going to play left tackle. Um, yeah, I mean, this is this is solid squad, I would say, at the very minimum. Solid. Every position looks pretty good. Defensively, we're in the same boat. Looks very, very solid. A couple of 99s out there. 183 in Deron Reinhardt. That's all right. Divisional championship time. We're taking on... The New England Patriots at Nissan Stadium in Tennessee to advance to the conference championship. Yes. Ah, it's the Steelers. No. I don't like to see the Steelers. Steelers beat us last time. All right. Super Bowl time it is. Please. We do. Titans, Rams. This is a fun matchup unless you're a Titans fan. Be tough if we were one yard short in this situation. I'm going to upgrade our players, and we're going to hop into this game. You guys, per usual, you're like, I ain't playing the entire... Nah. All right, if you're new here and that's your that's what you took away from this, it's about building up the team so that they don't need the user control to win. We're going to hop in. We're going to watch simulation because what's more fun than that? Super Bowl Dallas. Other Super Bowls played at the Georgia Dome in Atlanta when that existed. But here we go. Titans, Rams. Super Bowl 50-something. All right, here we go. Off to a hot start. 7-0. But things hopefully don't go south for us. 10-0. Now 10-3 after the uh, Rams get a field goal. 17-3. They score a touchdown. 17-10 here in the third quarter. We do answer with a field goal. And now a touchdown. 27-10. This lead is insurmountable. And it's gate. Can you shut the fuck up, Cat? I don't know if you guys can hear that. We're Super Bowl champions regardless. Sean McVay looks gross in the game. I, that's really what I can say. Pats his boyfriend, uh, Jared Goff, on the back of the helmet. Actually, like in all seriousness, Jared, or not Jared Goff, Sean McVay has a smoking hot girlfriend. Good for him. He's like 31 in real life, one coach of the year, has a vicious bald spot in the game. I don't know if he has that in real life. Dude, I'm trying to do an outro. You got to stop talking, cat. Please, please. Mariota, 16 for 20, three touchdowns, no interceptions. Derrick Henry had a sick game, 159 yards rushing, one touchdown. Did fumble, though. Receiving, Anthony Randall was sick, two touchdowns, 136 yards receiving on five catches. Um, Sharp let up a whatever sack. 
Uh, quarterback sacks for us to Marcus Lawrence and then Casey Hayward and Kendall Fuller both had an interception. Anyone force a fumble for us? I know they have one. Samson Ibukam did for the uh, the Rams there and then no defensive touchdowns. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, make sure to check out Andy in the description below. If you have not already. Subscribe to me if you're new. And if you're not new and you're not subscribed, please subscribe. This video is going to get a handful of thousand views. So if everyone who's watching says, I'll give the guy a shot, maybe hit subscribe, that'd be pretty cool. If you made it to the end, um, I don't know, comment something weird. Like, not too weird, but like the longest word you can think of right now. Like, don't look it up. Just like, even if the longest word, like the first thing that popped in your head was like, car. You're not going to win the competition. There's not even a competition. Just goodbye. Take it easy. I don't know. What are we doing here? I'll see you in the next one. Shit, don't